Well, right now, rescue and relief efforts are underway in the Bahamas after Hurricane Dorian hit as a Category 5 storm with wind speeds of up to 185 miles an hour. So while we were all waiting, saying, hurry up, Dorian, it was yeah. just sitting there. It, yeah. it, it just constantly battering for two days in the Bahamas. Torture. Now the U.S. is providing humanitarian assistance, including emergency shelter materials for 35,000 people. And seeing the devastation, many of you have reached out to us asking how you can help, how you can get things down to the Bahamas. Yeah, what local group is actually collecting supplies this morning? Mm. And on your side, Lana Harris. She's live in St. Augustine with what you need to do, what you need to know if you would like to lend a helping hand. Good morning, right? Because at this point, a lot of us have seen those heartbreaking videos of all the destruction in the Bahamas and the reunion videos of families who didn't know if their loved ones were alive and the people who found out that their loved ones didn't make it through the storm. And we know that we were just a turn away from something like that happening here. I mean, just imagine if you will walking out of your house and down your street and seeing nothing but destruction. That's what they're facing right now. So now people here on the first coast are just feeling compelled to help. They want to go out there and they want to bring them supplies. So over the weekend, people, pilots, uh, excuse me, are going to fly out there to the Bahamas uh, carrying supplies. So Jacksonville's Bold City Church is collecting donations as we speak. They've already got trucks full of things like diapers and baby supplies and cleaning supplies, and they'll be loading up the planes this morning. So we spoke with Bold City Church's lead pastor, Jason and masters who says there was no question that this was something that they had to do. You know, the way that man is wired, we're naturally wired to help uh, each other. I mean, it's part of our DNA. Um, so if you could do anything in any way, whether it's give to the Red Cross or, or anybody, um, I think it's a priority, man, because we never know when that day will be that we need people to surround us and support us uh, like the Bahamas do. You can still donate and think of things that helped you right after Matthew or Irma, things like hand sanitizer and non-perishable food, maybe blankets or wipes. Uh, these are the things that you can donate. We can, you can also go on our website, firstcoastnews.com. We've got a list of places that uh, are sending things out or taking money, monetary donations as well. Here in St. Augustine, I'm Lana Harris, First Coast News on your side.